up you guys so this is about to be a really long video as you can tell by the look of my face so i'm just gonna show you guys how i get ready to do my videos like you know how i prepare to record a video which is not like a daily task but it's a task okay sometimes the makeup routine takes forever because the brows just don't want to act right so that's the reason why they're already done off camera because i really didn't want to bore you for like 20 minutes with my eyebrow situation so you know i went ahead and shaped and sculpted them and all that good stuff now as you guys seen me i definitely didn't tweeze them i'm not gonna tweeze them only because when i don't go outside and i don't go outside i go outside without makeup i definitely want to have on some eyebrows especially if they're my own so i do conceal them a lot better than what i did on camera right here but yeah i try to keep my eyebrows I'm just using a Morphe um, eyeshadow palette. I can't remember which one it was directly, but I'll definitely link it below for you guys. And also I'm using some um, eyebrow and eyeliner pomade that I got from Amazon. It's supposed to last for 24 hours and it really does, but it will also get very oily on your brows. So keep that in mind, but it's amazing stuff. It comes with black and brown. So I just went ahead and used my Lancome um, peach colored color corrector. You know, I'm trying to figure out the best way to basically camouflage these creases under my eyes and definitely the other one, which is a little bit puffier than in the other eye it, it just drives me crazy definitely it drives me crazy so i just decided i just give this lancome stuff another swirl or whirl whatever you want to call it now i'm going to go ahead and beat my face with this sponge the sponge is by eco tools normally you guys always see me using the orange one which is by real techniques I love that sponge, but it was kind of old and beat up, so I definitely had to retire it. And then I decided to use this one, which was already in my stash, and it works out just as well. The foundation that I'm using is the Becca Cosmetics. It's the lightweight foundation. I love it. It works amazing. It's lightweight. I don't really like my face to be too thick with makeup, you know? Like one of those days, like when you decide to bake a cake. I'm not really trying to go for the cake face look, you know? So I do like the lightweight foundation. However, I do also have the full coverage, which is really great too. Maybe I should try that on my under eye. Now to try and still conceal these under eyes, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Concealer, Born This Way Concealer. I'm not really sure what color I'm using, but I'll definitely link everything below for you guys. And as you guys can see, I'm just going to be using these awesome amazing lashes which are from shop miss a you can either buy them individual like by themselves or you can buy them in the whole kind of like quad thing that i purchased in them you save a dollar hey every dollar counts right and i'm just going to take that sponge that sponge and dab it in so this like i said is going to be a long video because this video is actually going to really be about omg queen omg queen's lace front that they sent me You'll definitely see that in this video but i just wanted to share with you guys how i get ready for a video of course you're not going to see me shower and get dressed because that, that's kind of like personal but you'll see like somewhat how i get ready and maybe i should have been a little bit more talkative in this per se video but i was recording with my phone at the time and it wasn't kind of planned sometimes you want to be spontaneous so like i'm doing now i'm being spontaneous with this damn powder okay look so this is the challenging part with the strip lashes that's the reason why i used to keep them on like use individual glue and wear them for two weeks straight with my individual lashes but i decided not to keep wearing two pair of lashes because it's kind of heavy on the eyelids i would expect so you know yeah somewhat you know let me brush off this excess baby uh, banana powder and try to figure out how to fix my under eye creases. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna use this um, sheesh, Benefits, I think that's what it's called, I can't remember. You know, like matte bronzer and try to contour. Let me tell you guys, first of all, I am not a beauty guru. I don't do makeup videos. And the ones that I do also, the ones that I do decide to do, they're more or less on a neutral side. You know, I'm a neutral kind of girl. I don't really like tons of makeup on my face. I kind of like to look neutral and not look like I have too much on, if you get what I'm saying. Loving this Estee Lauder face powder. I got it recently at the makeup store, the um, 
the cosmetic company outlet, you know, where everything is 50% off. Yeah, it might be last seasons. Who cares? It's all the same stuff. And I like a good deal. A good deal. Hey. And I'm also going to be just blotting it on with this brush. Uh, this, yeah, this brush. So I really do like these lashes. They're really pretty, and especially for the price. The mascara that I'm using is the MAC 3D Extension Mascara. Now, I did also get this from the makeup store, and this was $7. I love this stuff, but the only issue I'm having with this mascara, girl, don't even bother crying. If you go and go somewhere and decide to cry, don't do it. It's not waterproof. These were also from the makeup store, which I think is for Estee Lauder. It's their highlights. Very pretty. I'm not really a huge highlight person. Like, I like highlights. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not about to put too much on my face. Like, meaning, I don't want to look like a globe, a strobe light, or anything like that. So, I try to be very light-handed with it. I just don't need to blind anybody. Not today, at least. So now to spray my face once again with this MAC stuff and try to do something with this hair so that way I can get ready for this wig tutorial. So what I do is I just part it down the middle, I clip it with my favorite clips, and I use this amazing brush that I don't know where I got it from, but it's good. It detangles and it doesn't hurt as I'm brushing. So I absolutely love this brush and I'm just going to use this brush to detangle my hair. And then I'm going to use the Mark Anthony's Hair and Body 100% virgin oil uh, coconut oil in my hair yeah it might look a little greasy right now but trust me when I tell you this will last in my hair for probably mm, a day and then my hair will be dry again so yeah now I'm not the best at braiding either sometimes so please excuse how my braids might come out the wig that I was sent by OMG Queen. It's a 16 inch 180% density curly bob. This one straight out the package you don't have to do anything to. It's already bleached for you. I didn't do anything. It comes with these cool hooks and also comes with some hooks in the back. Now girl make sure that you cut the lace off of your wig before you decide to go outside looking all cute because if you forget everybody's gonna know okay so make sure you cut the lace off your wig i'm just going to use these small scissors and cut away the wig is actually 139 dollars on omgqueen.com and as i said it's a 13 by 4 16 inch 180 percent density lace front the lace color that i have is light brown and it has improved bleach knots on the entire cap so like i was saying i didn't have to bleach it because it was already bleached for me i did pre-pluck it because listen I know everybody says their wigs are pre-plugged. I get that. I totally get it. But they're not pre-plugged enough for me. So that's the reason why I pre-plugged it and then rewashed it again. Now this part right here is just to customize the wig because if the hair or the lace cap is overlapping my ear, it's definitely not going to work out in my favor. The wig is going to be too big. So I take my rat tail comb and I part directly above my ear and I cut in between the parts so that way the wig will lay flat to my head. You know girl, I ain't got to tuck it behind my ear. It might help it look a little bit more natural. You know all that good stuff. Now, as for the bleached knots on their unit, what is my opinion on a scale of 1 to 10? I would give them like a 7. You know, of course they are a factory, so they cannot bleach it as I would. But I do think they did good that day. Uh, I don't understand why I can't talk today. Did a really great job, but especially for the fact that I didn't have to go in and re-bleach it. 
so I give them that. And I did use some toner to remove my makeup because you definitely want to make sure that your scalp, hairline, all that stuff is clean from any type of oils, dirt, makeup. So that way your wig can apply a lot better. Now, girl, y'all already know this is the part where I make the baby hairs and the sideburns. I think curly hair is always cute with baby hairs. But you know what? When you have curly hair, little baby hairs always seem to form anyway. So it always looks a little bit more natural. So make sure you get your rat tail comb so that you can do some baby hairs. Now, I prefer for my baby hairs to be a little bit shorter. But listen, if you want them down to your ankles, then by all means... Have those baby hairs down to your ankles. Make a bang of them. I don't care. Just make sure that you are enjoying the look that you have desired. Now to apply my wigs, I always use the Got To Be Glam Force hairspray. Now I don't always use that, but I have been using it quite a lot in the last few months. But you know, it's great stuff. It dries quick. It holds for like four days. I'm saying, you know, hey. And if you don't have a blow dryer like I do, just spray it in small sections and you'll be good to go. And then you just continue on with repeating the same steps as you did on the opposite side. You know, all that good stuff. Now to sculpt my baby hairs, I'm going to be using the Got To Be um, Volume Maniac Styling Mousse. I just decided just take it and just rub it all over because it's curly hair and I just rather brush everything back at first and then brush down the amount of baby hairs that I would like to use. Sometimes it doesn't always work out in my favor with the baby hairs, you know, sometimes they are a fight, unfortunately, but hey, it is what it is. A little bit more hairspray, girl, because you just definitely need that, right? And now just to keep sculpting. You know, everybody's baby hairs do not have to be identical. Do them how you like them. This is how I like mine somewhat, depending on the good day or the day it is. You know, I'm trying to always be perfect. So look, I take the comb, I make sure it's over. Hey, it's a work in progress. This all is a work in progress. And then at the end of the day, when you're ready to take the wig off, you gotta do it all over again the very next day. I just took a little gel on the bottom of my rat tail comb and just placed it on the root of the hair and decided to blow dry those baby hairs in place. Now, to make the lace blend a little bit more, you know, naturally for me, I'm going to take this MAC pressed powder and dab it all into the front. I know it's on the hairs, but the cool thing about that is it's powder. It'll definitely easily brush off the hair. Or you can get your wet rag girl and just wipe it clean. But make sure that your wig lace always matches as best as possible. And fluff it out. Style it up, you guys. Isn't she pretty? She's really, really cute. I like this wig a lot. You know, for some reason, I'm like, why is it asymmetrical on me but not on the model? I don't know, girl. I'm like, did I put it on lopsided? But I really didn't. I don't know what happened. But hey. It looked cute though. And just to give me some volume in the top, I just spray some hairspray and blow dry it. You guys know the rest from here, so I'll leave you guys with some sweet music that you guys can rock out to. So this was definitely going to be a voiceover because you know I was doing my makeup in the video you know I was like I was just doing things just to show you guys how I get ready for the video this was a really fun video for OMG Queen I do like this wig a lot it's very pretty it's very bouncy this is like a blunt cut on this side I think it's supposed to be like kind of long on one side unless I got it on crooked but I'm pretty sure that I don't I know I could have
possibly went that far. This wig is gorgeous. It's very soft. You didn't really have to do much when it came to me. It was already like bleached. You know what I mean? I did tweeze a little bit of the hairs, even though it was some already pre-plucked. I didn't want to pre-pluck it and make it my own. And then I just washed it. I'm so glad I did not have to bleach it. Like the bleach job that they did is not like my bleach job. Like, you know, I do it longer, but this is, you know, this is a company versus a personal person like myself. I think they still did a really good job. It's 2.24 in the afternoon. I think I'm just going to call it a wrap. It is Christmas family night at my daughter's school. So I'm going to look cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, this fun video for me. I was listening to some music. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite songs right now, in case you guys are like, uh, what song is that? It's Lizzo and it's coconut oil. Yes, it's called coconut oil. Listen to it. Okay, seriously. It has like a meaning to the song. Listen to the words. Bitch, you ain't got to sing along, but just listen to the words. The song really means a lot to me. Each person can interpret it a different way. But for me, this is my favorite song and I play it a lot. So all the information for this hair will be down below. And hopefully I don't forget to post the products that I used in this video, okay? A girl be having times and issues with the lashes. I'm not the best at putting on makeup. But I do give it a try. A swirl. A whirl. I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Cheerio. And make sure you check out Dunkin' Donuts. I love him. Yeah. Love you guys.